you've been a great critic as well of greenwash and so-called cowardly companies, companies that pretend to be doing one thing at a company level and then get industry associations and other bodies to lobby in the opposite direction. Particular criticism on this front has come from you on the oil and gas companies. They could be doing a lot more, could they? Oh, absolutely. And they need to do a lot more. There's no question about it that the ones that are trailing, that are using associations like the American Petroleum Institute or the Chamber of Commerce to actually slow them down whilst publicly proclaiming that they are the second coming and attacking climate with, with, uh, um, with vengeance, uh, they need to be called out. And increasingly, they are called out. We see the financial community jumping on them in shareholder propositions. You saw Exxon with engine number one having to change three board members. But more importantly, we see these companies falling behind in the sector compared to the more progressive forward thinking companies in the same sector. So right now, for example, a good example in the US where you have many companies making major commitments to be net zero and to decarbonize their whole value chain uh, that have been applauded but some of them are uh, using the funds via lobbying to stop the Biden uh, infrastructure bill, which exactly tries to tackle these issues. Why? Because there's a small tax increase involved. So again, when push comes to shove, these companies put their shareholders, their short-term shareholder return above the long-term um, uh, future of humanity. And that is not acceptable anymore. It is outright... Uh, not um, a smart move if you want to build trust and if you want to build your corporate reputation, if you want to attract the right people, and ultimately if you want to be successful in society. So what we talk about is when it comes to CEO salaries, corruption, money in politics, lobbying, and many of the other things, increasingly we have to put our word where our mouth is and behave consistently.